let's talk about sequencing the morphogen at the very speed input. If we want to use a quantized voltage output, such as from Rene, then we're going to need to set the very speed option to 1 or 2 in the options.txt file on the SD card. And then we're going to need to set the very speed input attenuator to a particular position in order for it to track correctly. If this sounds daunting, don't worry, I'm going to walk you through it. So first we need to find a sound that has a recognizable single pitch. And we're going to listen to this alongside the pitch of an oscillator. matter exactly what pitch they're set to, but we'll want to make sure it's low enough we can go a couple octaves up without uh, running out of space on the morphogene CV input. I'm going to, it can be helpful to use the octave markers, so I'm going to go an octave below the original pitch for starters. There's the original pitch. thing I really like to do is uh, take a copy of the CV that I'm using and patch it through another attenuator. And I'm going to use channel 3 of the maths and turn the uh, attenuator on the very speed itself all the way up. And I'll show you why I'm doing that in a minute here. Let's go ahead and listen to the DPO alongside it. them together and we're going to sweep up through octaves and fifths I've turned off everything except for C and G on the Rene and as you can hear it's not accurate at all we'll go ahead and use the channel 3 attenuator to dial it in there and we can use the octave marking colors as, a, as kind of a guideline if we like as well as our ears, of course. Now, once we've gotten this into place, this math's channel 3 attenuator position, we're not going to touch again. Um, this is the setting we need, and we don't want to move it from now on. This way, even if we're playing around with the morphogene doing whatever, we bump the very speed control, or the attenuator, we can just turn the attenuator all the way back up, and we'll be back to where we want it to be. as we leave the mass attenuator setting alone we can change anything on the morphogene and still maintain this tracking table that we've created and we can even use the very speed knob to transpose just as we would with a VCO and its pitch knob without losing the sequence tracking so now let's go ahead and switch the DPO over to the Y channel So that we can 
sequence it. fun to be had sequencing the morphogene and other things that aren't really meant to have their pitch sequenced, like the coupons. Stay tuned. 